Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Euro dollar. A bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, which wasn't that hard to do really, given that the previous session was an indecisive doji cross. We nevertheless still have the conditions set up for this week to possibly become a weekly key reversal. Thus, if we close on Friday either below 105.45 or over 106.40, then we'd be on. Right now, we're looking at a lesser outside week for this week. The key support continues to be the rising medium moving average, currently at 105.39, which has effectively propped up the market these past two days. Looking below, apart from the February and March 2017 low support at 104.92, we have little below until well under 104 even. Meanwhile, on the top side, prices barely closed back up over the breach. Late September 2022 today uptrend, currently at 105.84, but they did close over it. And definitely over the April 2017 low at 105.68. Beyond these two, we have the 2020 low at 106.35 with the flatlining short medium moving average, currently 107.14 beyond that. So far today, not really that much, a higher market, but getting entangled with the breached uptrend again. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A bullish white soldier yesterday, but not, not a bullish engulfing pattern, despite the previous session's indecisive doji cross, which is actually a bit of a talent not being able to make one of those. It was nevertheless a strong reaction back up over the big key reversal down we saw earlier this week. Perhaps more importantly and significantly, the market closed back up over the slowly declining long moving average, currently at 118.92. I'd previously laid out trend lines for a possible small descending wedge pattern formed over February. Uh, it's currently 118.31 to 120.26. I was not sure about this pattern before, but I'm warming up to it as a pattern the more I look at it. We also still have the double top, Adam and Eve type, uh, formed since November last year, which still hasn't been resolved. What is interesting is that we really don't have that much support below until the old October 2016 flash crash low at 114.5. So it was somewhat of a surprise to me that we haven't seen a stronger attempt lower, especially after Tuesday's action. Looking above, beyond the upper trend line, we have the May 2020 low at 120.73 and the flatlining short medium moving average, currently 121.21. We also have the rising medium moving average, currently 120.23. But for some reason at the moment, I don't value that highly as resistance. Not right now. So far today, a small continuation higher, but in a small but empty overhead area that runs up to the downtrend of the new small descending wedge pattern. Euro Sterling, a second bearish black crow and a follow on lower to the previous session's bearish harami. It was also a validation of the highlighted two day tweezer top pattern formed over Tuesday and Wednesday this week. The top side continues to be capped by the congestion at 89.25 while support below is at the 50% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to March 22 move at 88.51, as well as the slowly rising short medium moving average, currently at 88.39. However, the core of the, of the base support is at the slowly rising medium moving average, currently 87.64. Overhead, beyond the 88.25 resistance, we have some congestion between 89.5 to 89.90, and then again at 90.21. Now, so far today, a dip down to the 50% Fibonacci line before bouncing up again and contemplating whether to be an indecisive doji cross before deciding to punch down through the 50% Fibonacci line as well as the rising short medium moving average. Though they're not really carrying on that much lower at the moment. US dollar against the Indian rupee. A bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, which wasn't that hard an ask given that the previous session was an indecisive spinning top. However, it did have a bit of a long tail on it, which I suppose was to compensate for the long tongue on the previous session's indecisive spinning top. The top side was capped by the flatlining medium moving average, currently 82.10, and the slowly declining short medium moving average, currently 82.18. Now, in the big picture, the market is still in between the overhead upper time, currently 82.82, and the middle time below, currently 81.46, which are highlighted in dark green on my daily chart, of the October 2022 to early January this year bearish bearish shift pitchfork 
A little below the market, we have the August 2022 today uptrend currently at 81.64, which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. All this leaves me with a question. Is there an ascending triangle formed over this year between the flat highs of this year, around about the 83 area, and maybe the uptrend acting as a lower trend line? Well, today I've decided to help visualize this a little better, and I've drawn and highlighted in dark blue an uptrend currently at 81.69, and a downtrend currently at 82.98 for this sideways triangle pattern. I continue to ponder upon it. So far today, um, an attempt higher, piercing the medium moving average overhead, but halting at the short medium moving average before turning back down to at the moment look, well, like an indecisive doji top. US dollar against the Brazilian real. An immediate countering bullish harami yesterday to offset the previous session's combined bearish opening black marabozo and bearish engulfing pattern. The base of the action was once again on the influential combination of the 38.2% Fibonacci line of the June 2019 to May 2020 move at 510.87. And a session which fits in with my previous narrative. You see, the overall story here is one of two complementary and somewhat shallowly bearish patterns. The original one is the late July to late September 2022 bearish shift pitchfork and highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. The market is at the moment in between the overhead upper time currently at uh, 522.19 and the middle time below currently at 499.17.17. This pitchfork has given the overall bearish angle of attack since September, especially between the middle and upper time and that is despite the upper time being breached a number of times. Then there is the resultant pattern created by this action, and that's the November 22 to date bear channel, currently at 490.88 to 540.90, which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. As I said earlier here, these are complementary to each other, one giving birth to the other. Over all of this is the shadow of the monthly key reversal down we saw in January. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A superb immediate countering key reversal up yesterday that almost set up the conditions for a weekly key reversal as well. It was nevertheless, at the same time, the lowest low seen here since September 2017. This one piece of action has placed a significant question mark over all of the seemingly relentless decline we've seen here since July last year. The base of the action was the previously well talked about neckline currently at 1797.63 and highlighted in purple on my daily chart of the February to April 2021 head and shoulders top. This seems to be just the latest roadblock in this market's journey south when it was first tested last Friday. However, it's provoked such a strong reaction that there seems to be a lot more about and behind it. The move higher, well, the move higher went up through and closed over the broken lower tine, currently at 1809.95 of the late September to December 2022 bearish shift pitchfork, which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart, as well as the broken blue tine, uh, and that's currently at 18, uh, broken dark blue upper tine, currently at 1825.95 of the March to July 2022 bearish Andrews pitchfork. Now this upper tine had previously been broken, yet it was still influential and shown the recent bearish angle of attack. Above, we now have the lower time, currently at 1849.08, of the March to July 2022 bearish shift pitchfork. I've not highlighted this one, and I was about to retire it, actually. However, I will keep it on for now, just in case. Above this, we have the combination of the neckline in bright green, currently 1861.08, of the January to May 2021 head and shoulder stop, and the middle tine in bright red, currently 1859.84, of the previously mentioned late September to December 2022 bearish shift pitchfork. The neckline had been important back in February when it was getting tested, but has since diminished after the subsequent move lower after the break. Now, so far today, a further move higher up through the lower time of the March July 2022 uh, bearish shift pitch up as well as the February 2020 low at 1851.74 but screeching to a halt uh, just short of the combination of the bright green neckline and a bright red middle time before heading back down and making today look like an indecisive spinning top right now
a little bit. Actually, it's looking more like a shooting star pattern. Despite this latter drop, the market move higher has actually risen enough that we are set for a possible weekly key reversal down. If we close tonight either over 1839.10 or under 1794.30, then we'll be on. Right now, well, right now we are looking at a lesser outside week for this market. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.